Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we uh, we actually learned a lot in the previous episode. So uh, we discovered that Detloff is being uh, blackmailed into killing those men, the murder victims of the Beast of Toussaint, uh, because someone is holding his lover. Uh, we're gonna continue that questline later on, but first we're gonna pay a visit to Guillaume, the knight, the young knight that uh, was wounded during the arena battle over there against the Shalemar. So hello Guillaume. Looks like he has a, a nice set of hair there underneath that helmet. Look at that. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Okay, and why do you think that is? Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant. Though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut-tut, <laughs> Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. Okay then. So what makes you think she's cursed then? What makes you think she might be cursed? Well, speak up. You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Okay, you can confide in me. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? Yeah, indeed. It's just in about war, to say the yes. same. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped Stone Cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. Okay. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often come night, she ventures into the woods where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. I hope she's not a Bruxa as well, because that might be bad. Notice anything else unusual? Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Hmm. Sounds might not have been as strange as you remember, though. Sounds the shriek. Heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Okay, then. Anything else? Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You shall take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. Seriously? I'm looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Okay. Let's talk about my reward first. That's usually reserved for Witcher contracts, but let's see. Hardly a regular job, this. 
Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Let's see. Wow, that's actually a nice base rate. So let's go for 560 to start with. Agreed. That there is we go. amount I can indeed muster. Okay. Then uh, tell me more about the tourney. This tourney. How does it work exactly? What do we need to it do? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding What's the prize? test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Um, you got me curious. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Okay. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, Sounds like a plan. contests must surely differ. Require skills you don't usually apply. Races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Uh, target practice, I suppose. Marksmanship. Feel a need to do some shooting. Okay. So we have done some shooting in the past. We you. shot those apples in uh, Hearts of Stone. Contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning in time. <laughs> it was pretty obvious, though. Hit the red targets. Okay. Uh. There we go. Done. Anything else? Uh, I don't think we need more practice than that. That's enough. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Okay, and we'll do some uh, horsemanship training. Let's do some riding. Rochel like that. Excellent idea. Okay, follow Guillaume to the race track. Come with me. Yeah, I was waiting for you, so. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. Oh. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Okay. Sounds like a simple time, time trial to me, so... Uh... Sounds like we could actually win this thing as well. Although, I don't really get why we need to win it if each participant gets an audience with Vivian. So that's a bit where his uh, explanation fails, but... Hey, let's uh, try this horse race first then. Okay. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. What? The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During okay. the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Uh... That sounds like a lot of work. Mounted combat, holding down an attack button will trigger a slow motion mode, which makes it easier for you to strike your target. Geralt will decide for himself which side to attack from, based on your enemy's location. Holding down the aim button will trigger a slow motion mode. While this mode is active, Roach will maintain her speed, so you do not need to hold down the gallop button. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 
Was that extra time added? Yeah, okay. Do we know where the... Okay, there's a... I missed that one. Completely. Uh, Roach is not uh, keeping his <laughs> speed. What the fuck? Wow, this is actually pretty hard. That's so, not easy. Enough, or do you wish to ride again? I don't want to ride again, but um, that's not going to be easy. That was Had pretty enough. tough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Well, the last thing probably. Combat training. Be nice to swing. Do some footwork. Work up a sweat. Very well. We should practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Uh, we fight sword in hand, but you probably already knew that. Follow you Guillaume to the training grounds. To fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea to be distracted in a duel. You could lose your head, good sir. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Guillaume doesn't seem to care. Are we going? Okay. He's taking a re really weird route here. Ah, there we go. The training grounds. Here we are. I think I'm gonna win. Oh, that was... Never learn. I expected you to do well, but not that well. Of course we did well, so uh, practiced enough. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Okay. As long as it's not a paper chase like the previous quest. I go to the inscription tent. So I'll see you guys there in a second. So the inscription tent should be uh, right here. Yeah, this one over here on the left. And then we should be uh, allowed into the tourney. Hello, scribe. Greetings. Want to join the list? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request. I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? Okay. What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Uh... Geralt of Rivia, of course. Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witcher's Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Of course we do. Mm. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. So that's something from in the books. Um, where uh, Geralt and an Nilfgaardian soldier battled over uh, an entire Nilfgaardian battalion together with a few Nordlings. 
Uh, what did you dig up about Ravix the Four Fourhorn? Ravix the Fourhorn? How did you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. And Ciri's mother. That's actually right. It's weird that we got a title out of that, but uh, we're just gonna join as Geralt of Rivia. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Well, thank uh, you. In that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Okay, the challenges. Tell me about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. I wonder if we can use our signs during the uh, duels. Um, so what's, what's this about prizes, by the way? Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all trophies played out shall face last year's oh my god in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard. A famed master weaponsmith. Sounds good. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazar. Sounds good. And what's this about vows? Because I haven't heard anything about that yet. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Okay then. We uh, know all we need to. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Good question. Um, I'll swear on the heron, ladies, my lady's love. I'll swear on her illustrious highness, Garter. Uh, I'll swear on my lady's love. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. There we go. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That, that was quick all, all of a sudden. I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Excuse me? I want hmm, my own shiny. armor. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look at him. Gerald of Rivia. With the bridge insignia. Yes, I'm rhyming. Go to the shooting range for the first challenge, I presume? So uh, here we go. Hello. This guy probably. Balmarin. 
Do we need to compete against Balmorin? Geralt, well I'll be. Have you decided to turn Knight Errant? Uh, not really. All jesting aside, here on a job. You and the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Fan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's Doing drugs, to yeah. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Ah, oh, crap. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. That sounds like something we could play for indeed, so uh, let's do that. Never turn down a round of Gwent. I'll fast forward it again. So it's quite a deck again. Uh, that's a bit too much, is it? Old Gate von Everak, it's not a great draw. I'm gonna remove this and that. Huh. This is interesting. There we go. It doesn't look like I'm going to win with this hand, though. Um. Ah, crap. I could go with this immediately, but that will leave me wide open for the next bit. Huh. Ah, this is annoying. Yeah, that was a really smart pass there. Um. Now I'm kind of forced to use another card. Uh, well, I don't have that many siege weapons, so I'm, get, I'm just going to use my leader ability. And pass. So that's the first round won. And there we go, that's actually pretty nice. So let's start off with that. With Siri. And he is as well. Um, let's go with all the Edvon Everak. On the close combat slot. So he's going to boost all of my uh, close combat units. Okay, that only adds one, which is not bad. Let's put this one in. We'll, boost it. we'll be boosted with one point. And now we have Scorch, which is not that bad at this point. So I think I'm going to win this. Biting Frost, also not a problem. So let's get this one out there again. Impenetrable Fog. I think I'm going to easily win this. So let's put another one down. Because I'm actually above it, even though there is a Biting Frost on the field. Yeah, okay, he passed. So I'm going to just use a clear weather to remove all that. Look at those points. And now we're going to use a commander's horn to double all that again. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Pullman. I just won that. Easily. I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Late here, Fivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good, Good luck, Pullman. Or Pullman. Pullman de l'Enfal. Hello, Lady Vivian. I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Yes, it has, and we shall. Don't worry, Guillaume, we will, uh... Finish this easily. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against <laughs> him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. Well, thank you. That was the quite the introduction. He must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Yes, indeed. I wanted to give you a hand, but apparently can't do that. Okay, here we go.
Like a lava ghostly grasping but one fair peak, Geralt's half strewn with joyous victory. There we go. Bitter defeat. Got them all. I'm fucking Hawkeye, baby. Okay, that trumpet kept going, even though he uh, released it. Oh, that bow is going crazy. Oh, look at that. That's a nice crossbow. With the Rivia sigil on it. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you, my lady. Carol of Rivia's crossbow. That's a nice price. Uh, medallion hums when you're near. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. Is it? To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. What's happening with his bow? Accept my congratulations as well. It's Thanks. still... Yeah, it's still strong. Look at that. <laughs> Good work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. Excuse me? Right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it now. Yeah, let's go now. What is that this in is that tent. tent? You must look in sight. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay. So let's quickly do this. This is a weird mirror. Claw marks. Claw marks. That's clear. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Okay. Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Concealment, ointment. That's not good. Is she really a Broxa? Everything's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. <laughs> okay, Geralt. That was uh, sarcastic. What's that? His insults. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Okay. Someone approaches quickly. That's not an owl. There was a letter on the table as we're well. Supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration. Be gone from here. Uh, we could have come out of the back. But hey. So, uh, next up is the racing course, but I'm first gonna take a little break, so when we, uh, okay. Okay, nothing happens, just that she was asking what we were doing there. So next up, we're gonna do the race over there on the track, probably. Uh, but first I'm gonna take a little break, so when we get back, we're gonna continue the tourney. Uh, but first, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.